Baroness Joanna Shields, welcome to the FT. Thank you. Uh, so you're here in New York, um, banging the drum. Might be, might be the wrong expression no, for the for the, good for the UK way of it, yeah. for the UK tech sector. Um, what are you telling um, companies, investors in New York about about the UK, about the prospects for, for UK companies? Well, I think the first thing we're doing is we're trying to, as you say, bang the drum on U UK tech mm -hmm. and really tell the world the story of what's happening there. And it's been an economic transformation for London, but not just London, for the entire country. Mm -hmm. Presumably this is ab about, I mean, you want the jobs, right? You want companies to come we and, want and, the jobs. To, to employ yeah. people. But there's also a tax issue, right? You want mm. companies to base themselves in the UK and pay taxes. We definitely do. And uh, this is a very sort of hot topic at the moment, it is. especially <laughs> with tech companies coming to Europe and basing themselves in low yeah. tax environments, but operating out of London. How much of that is a consideration in your conversations that you're having? Well, when the UK had the, the stewardship of the G8, it was G8 then, not G7, it's yes. G7 now. Right. But when we had the stewardship of the G8, we took on the issue of tax and transparency. Mm -hmm. That was the, the mandate. And the OECD started a process of, they called it BEPS, Basic, basic Growth and Profit Shifting. And what that was, was a process to sort of look at all these tax arrangements and look at what was really happening and come out with some, some rulings that said, this, is, this works or this doesn't work. Right. So the, the underlying principle is that you have to align substance and revenue generating function with the tax being paid. Right. And if you look at these offshore companies, these you know, you know, double Irish or double Irish Dutch sandwich yeah. arrangements, the IP is in an, is in a third party country, usually in the Gr Cayman Islands right. or Bermuda, and clearly they're not operating a business out of there. Right. So the OECD looked down on these. The EU started making sort of investigating various companies, and these arrangements have kind of kind of fallen out of fashion. Right. And so. Alongside of that, we said, look, we, d we do want entrepreneurs and business builders to be here. We want to make the best conditions. So we dropped the corporate tax rate to 20%. Mm -hmm. So it's the lowest in the G20, which is a saying something. Yeah. Um, and then we also developed these innovation regimes, like the R&D tax credit, which is above the line and really advantageous. And we also developed the patent box. Mm -hmm. So if you do research and development, if you create intellectual property, and you know it's quite broad in terms of the application of intellectual property. It doesn't have to be hardware or software. Right. You know, it could be you know intellectual property, however you define that. Um, and we've made it such that you will only pay 10% tax right. on all the revenues associated with that. Okay. And but generally on your on, on your the meetings you're having in New York and the, the people you're pitching the UK to, the, what's the response been? Well, people want to go to where they can find talent, they can, you know, live in a city that they love, mm -hmm. that they can, you know, grow their business and they don't have to worry about, um, you know, running out of people or having to shift people from the US. Right. I think that's what happens a lot. You right. Know, you have to send massive landing teams and f move entire families and from the US because you can't fill the jobs. Right. So the UK is in is other jurisdictions. The UK is the best place mm -hmm. in Europe by far. Okay. You know, it's such an international city. It draws people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And you know, oftentimes in internet businesses, you need language speakers from all parts of the world. And right. You do have that in London. Okay. You know, it's such a vibrant global city. Terrific. Baroness Shields, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.